University, so exceptional, one of the truly great, great schools. Most importantly to our new graduates, each of you should take immense pride in what you have achieved. There's another group of amazing people we want to celebrate today, and they are the ones who have made this journey possible for you. And you know who that is? Nobody. You forgot already. You're going to go out. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. Some are going to make a lot of money. Some are going to be even happier doing other things. They're your parents and your grandparents. Don't forget them. You haven't forgotten yet, have you? Never, ever forget them. They're great. And especially this weekend, let's make sure we give a really extra special thanks to the moms. Don't forget our moms, because graduates, today is your day. Today is your day. But in all of this excitement, don't forget that tomorrow is Mother's Day, right? I had a great mother. She's looking down now, but I had a great mother. I always loved Mother's Day. We're also deeply honored to be joined by some of the nearly 6,000 service members, military veterans, and military spouses who are receiving their diplomas today. Would you please stand? Please stand. Wow. That's great. Thank you very much. Great job. We're profoundly grateful to every single one of you who sacrificed to keep us safe and to protect God's precious gift of freedom. It is truly a testament to this university and to the values that you embrace that your graduating class includes so many patriots who have served our country in uniform. Thank you very much. To the class of 2017, today you end one chapter, but you are about to begin the greatest adventure of your life. Just think for a moment of how blessed you are to be here today at this great, great university, living in this amazing country, surrounded by people who you love and care about so much. Then ask yourself, with all of those blessings and all of the blessings that you've been given, what will you give back to this country and, indeed, to the world? What imprint will you leave in the sands of history? What will future Americans say we did in our brief time right here on Earth? Did we take risks? Did we dare to defy expectations? Did we challenge accepted wisdom and take on established systems? I think I did, but we all did, and we're all doing it. Or did we just go along with convention, swim downstream so easily with the current, and just give in because it was the easy way, it was the traditional way, or it was the accepted way. Remember this, nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. Following your convictions means you must be willing to face criticism from those who lack the same courage to do what is right, and they know what is right but they don't have the courage or the guts or the stamina to take it and to do it. It's called the road less traveled. I know that each of you will be a warrior for the truth, will be a warrior for our country and for your family. I know that each of you will do what is right, not what is the easy way, and that you will be true to yourself and your country and your beliefs. In my short time in Washington, I've seen firsthand how the system is broken. A small group of failed voices who think they know everything and understand everyone, 
want to tell everybody else how to live and what to do and how to think. But you aren't going to let other people tell you what you believe, especially when you know that you're right. And those of you graduating here today who have given half a million hours of charity last year alone, unbelievable. This is why this man is legendary. It is just what it is. He has proven to the world that you can be on one life and still make a difference. He has proven to everybody that you can be the odds can be against you. Everybody can be against you, and yet you can still win. And this is why this man is an inspirational figure, and this is why he's going to change the United States. Thank you for tuning in. It is your boy, Genesis. God bless you. See you soon.